this is what people of colour experience all the time. And we're always told that it's to get over it or to move on or stop whinging. We... Hi, my name is Nathan Henry and I am from MTV's Geordie Shaw and I believe that Black Lives Matter. I have been quite fortunate in the sense that my friends and family have never made me feel any different for the colour of my skin. Um, but the first time I noticed I was different was when I went to secondary school. So this is when I was about 12 because I'd left primary school where I had my brother and my little brother and once I got to secondary school I realised I was the only black person there and it was it's quite a shock for when you're a 12 year old to like be thrust into a school of hundreds of white kids and feel so different and not have anyone there that you can share this experience of or share like i had no one to talk about how i felt internally like obviously my friends and stuff were all great with me and, I, and they made me feel welcome and stuff and they never treat me any different but deep down i always knew I was different and I always knew I didn't fit in. And growing up, this progressively got worse, like getting trains places, being out in public. Um, I always felt like when I was on a train, I had to make myself look, or on public transport, I always had to make myself look more approachable to, um, to elder white people, just to, so they felt safe around me. Which now as an adult, when I think about it, I shouldn't have to change the way I am to accommodate someone else that I should be able to just live my life normally. If a white boy my age walked past an adult um, or an elderly person, they wouldn't cross the road or anything like that, or they wouldn't grab the bag in closer. However, when I did, I took my hood down, took a hat off, I'd approach with a smiley face, I'd always be like, hi, to make that person feel more accommodated. And as you get older, you start to think that that's not something I should have had to do. My friends didn't have to do that. So why did I have to do that? The worst experience of racism I've ever had was when I was on holiday with um, a boyfriend. We, uh, this, I never Googled or anything whether this person was homophobic or anything. We went to um, somewhere in Turkey and the people on the excursion that we were on were making monkey chants at me. Uh, I heard the n-word several times used under their breath and then it wasn't until we got off the bus at the excursion to when my partner had looked at my back and realized that i was covered in phlegm where they'd been spitting on me on the bus now when i've told people about this before like oh well that if this if people's excuses straight away well it wasn't racist it wasn't a racist attack i was the only black person on that bus it, they weren't doing it to my partner they weren't doing it to any other person on that bus. It was a direct target at me. Not only that, when someone is doing monkey chants and you hear the N-word multiple times, it's very annoying that when I try to explain this to someone or I say to someone, like, like I feel like they're targeting me because of my colour, it's always everyone else's response is, oh, Nathan, you're being paranoid. I'm not being paranoid. When you've grown up and you've seen that look and you know that vibe and you, you're just so used to it. Like, you know, you understand it. For someone to sit there and say that you're being paranoid, that it, that's like, it's an instant dismissal of how uncomfortable I feel and the experience that I've had. And it immediately puts, it immediately makes me feel like I can't speak to anyone about it. And when, you, when you've grown up with this, like stuff like this, it's like, it's this, it's, it's difficult to talk because you, you know people are going to sit and watch this and be like, oh, you're just, you're going on like that, but I'm not. This is what people of colour experience all the time. And we're always told that it's to get over it or to move on or stop whinging. We... <sighs> of course, it is time for all this to end and the world needs to change. But in order to do that, people need to understand, they need to educate themselves and maybe put themselves in another person's position and just be a lot more kinder. Because then there is 2020 now and the only people that can make a change is us. So we need to start today.